Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this Nike-inspired landing page, so follow me along. First of all, I'll create a little text effect on the background. Then create a circle and put half of it outside the frame. Give it a lighter blue than the background and decrease its opacity. Copy the circle decrease its size and delete its fill. Then add a stoke and a linear fill to it. Take each shoe and create three rectangles side by side and fill them with a color that represents the shoes. Place each group on top of each other and make sure they are somehow aligned. Make a frame selection and place the frame on the main page. Create five rectangles around the circle. Make the linear fill that represents each shoe. And select each of them, place them on their respective rectangles and group them too. Now what you want to do is select the last two groups and place them on the other side of the circle, just like I do, but make sure they are still in the mainframe. Now select the circle, copy it, and increase its size until it becomes big enough to cover all the rectangles. Group it with all the rectangles and set its opacity to zero. Write the name of the first shoe and its price. Let's make a
take a group and copy it for each shoe and modify them. Group them all and place them inside a frame so that one group can appear at a time. Make a descriptive text, some sizing, and a buy now button. Then create three squares. and copy them five times so that, in the end, you'll have 25. And in each square, Add the image corresponding to a shoe, just like I'm doing. Group them and add them to a frame, just like you did for the names. Now let's create the other pages, copy the frame, slide the image down. Select the shoe and give it a little bit of rotation. Then select the previous group and set its opacity to zero. Then select the circular group and modify its rotation so the corresponding rectangle is in the same position as the previous one. Then slide the names and the images to their new position too and do that for each pair.
Once you are done, go to prototype mode and link each rectangle to its corresponding frame with those settings. And if you want, you can create a starting page by sliding all the elements outside the frame. and using those settings. And there you go.